Good morning, Miners. My name is Aurelia. And I'm Charlie. Today is Monday, January 21st, and this is Miner Morning TV. Today's schedule is period 1, 2, brunch, 3, 4, lunch, 5, and 6. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Place your right hand over your heart. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Can you believe that this is the last day of January? And do you know what that means? Yes, it means tomorrow is February, which also means we, have, we will be celebrating Black History Month. We have several ideas to help us celebrate Black History all month long, but we would love your input too. If you have any ideas you would love to see included as we celebrate this month, we would love your input. Here's a, here is a video on how you can help as we get ready to kick off a month of celebration. Roll the video. Hey Miners, this is the month we'll be celebrating Black History Month. Today's we would love to get celebration ideas from our student body. If you have any ideas on how our school can make a super special Black History Month this year, go to room 13 to talk to Ms. Schultz or scan this QR code. Thank you. This Wednesday, the cafeteria will be serving breakfast before school and at brunch with lunch due to the minimum day. Thank you. Today is the last day of January. And we, and as we say goodbye to January and hello to February, let's look at whose birthdays are happening this week. Roll the video. Over to Mr. Turner. Good morning, miners. I hope you had a great weekend. Today, as you know, as you've already heard a couple times, is the last day of January. So where did the month of January go? That was really quick. Well, first of all, I want to remind you that we are still really where we are back at the beginning of the month of January with a lot of different COVID cases all over the valley. And I need to remind you that, especially at brunch and lunch, we need to think about our distance and sort of where our distance is at those times. Because as many cases as we can prevent, let's do that. Let's be wise. You have done a good job. Haven't had too many situations where I've had to ask people to give each other some space. But think about that. We're still there this week. Hopefully numbers are going down and as they go down uh, in weeks to come, hopefully we'll be able to relax some of the um, rules and guidelines that we have had over the past few weeks. Another thing along those same lines, let's think about our amount of time that we spend with uh, personal displays of affection. If you don't know what PDAs are, Let's think about that. That goes along with what we just talked about. On our campus, those are not acceptable at this time. You should be aware of that. So if someone asks you to 
Um, have some separation between you and another person. Just comply. You don't have to ask questions. Just do it. It's that easy. Um, also, in the afternoons, as we're leaving, let's be really careful about respecting our neighbors and not be on their lawns or on their front doorsteps. Uh, just be aware of that. We don't want to uh, be bad neighbors on our end of things. So think about that as you are walking home. What I would like to leave you with today is just a thought. Over the next few days, you're going to hear a lot about a very important people that we have had uh, during Black History Month. And in our country, not only in our country, but also even some historical facts about our school from the past and some folks who have been here who have gone on to do some really great things. So pay attention. Look forward to learning about those people. That's all for me today. Back to Aurelia and Charlie. Every day at Placerita is a holiday. Today is Eat Your Brussels Sprouts Day. That's all for us today. I'm Aurelia. And I'm Charlie. Have a magnificent Monday, Miners, and remember to eat your vegetables.